As Donald Trump continues to put pressure on the Kamala campaign, NBC is reporting that Democrats are bracing for a possible crack in the blue wall, and there are signs that North Carolina is slipping back into the Trump column, especially after his return visit to the areas hit hardest by Hurricane Helene yesterday, a smart move politically for Trump. Kamala also concerned about her support in the state of Michigan. One campaign staffer saying, quote, maybe Michigan or Wisconsin will fall off. So what does Kamala do yesterday? She brings in Liz Cheney into the state for a fake town hall. Even Trump noted how bad a move this was for Kamala. Posting on Truth Social, lying Kamala has stooped so low, taking a woman to her campaign to campaign with her. This woman lost her congressional race by the largest margin, 40 percent in history. The record holder is crazy war hawk Liz Cheney, whose father, Dick Cheney, convinced George Bush to go into the Middle East and kill. Now Kamala wants Arabs to vote for her. I don't think so. Trump put that out at one in the morning, by the way. I do not know when the former president sleeps. For reaction, want to welcome in our panel, host of the Tony Katz Show, Tony Katz, along with host of the Tudor Dixon podcast, former Michigan gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon. Great to have you both on. Um, Tudor, I don't know why. I don't, maybe I'm missing something. And if I am, look, you know Michigan better than anyone I know. Is there like a voter block in Michigan that Liz Cheney really appeals to that I haven't thought of yet? No, absolutely not. That's the funny part about it. It's like you're not going to win over Republicans by doing that. You're not going to win over independents. People are not looking for more war right now. They know who she's connected to and what the past has been. And really, to Donald Trump's point, he brings up a great one. The Arab American community does not like Dick Cheney. They've been posting on social media. They're very vocal about it. I've heard from some of the folks that I'm friends with over there that they're not, they don't understand this. A very strange move. A Apparently such a strange move she had to take today off. You bring in probably, Tony, the least popular Republican in America to campaign with you. Uh, people don't like Liz Cheney. She lost by 39 points in the state of Wyoming, which is a very red state. I just politically, I don't know if Liz Cheney is my Mariana Rivera. Like, that's not my closer two weeks from Election Day. Uh, no, uh, she's not anybody's uh, closer. And it's so odd when we consider her record when she was in Congress, the conservative record. She's somebody you wanted to know. She's somebody who was able to. She was in leadership in the party. And she got broken by the idea of January 6th and has never been able to see her way out of it. The reason Kamala Harris campaigns with her, and they're so proud to campaign with her, is that this is the Democratic view of what a Republican is supposed to be. And the Democratic view of a Republican is whatever it is the Democrats want the Republicans say, thank you, can I have another? That's exactly why Trump came into being, because people were exhausted by, thank you, can I have another? There's These reasons are very clear and very obvious to those of us who rationally look at the situation. Not being rational is Kamala Harris, and certainly Liz Cheney must understand by this stage that it doesn't matter what she does, Democrats are never going to like her. They're never going to respect her. They're never going to bring her into the fold. As long as that she has the R after her name, she will always be persona non grata. She will be the one that is used as the tool and then cast aside. Yeah, and Liz Cheney, I think the knock on her, I think she's just sort of a rotten person. And I think a lot of people feel that way. Uh, MSNBC, though, and this is just fascinating, the turn that they've made on Morning Joe. So they, they are not fans of the Cheney family. But because Liz is anti-Trump, they want Liz Cheney to be Secretary of State or Secretary of Defense. Take a listen. She is a character almost out of the movies, out of uh, A Man for All Seasons. I've never seen a more heroic figure than Liz Cheney. Uh, she lost her her state probably forever. She lost her party. She lost her leadership in the Republican House. She could have been on, going, been on her way to speaker. It was very probable. She gave it all away in the interest of truth. I, Tudor, her way to speaker? A speaker of what? I don't know. Um, Tudor, tell me what's going on in the state of Michigan. Because all of a sudden, the Kamala campaign has decided that they're going to basically abandon campaigning in the Sun Belt states because they don't want to lose Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, states that Trump won in 2016. 
Yeah, well, Michigan's leaning toward Donald Trump right now because the auto workers realize that every couple of months we get more layoffs from the big three here in the state of Michigan. And they make they they make that connection directly back to Kamala Harris and Gretchen Whitmer. Those policies, the green policies that have brought EVs to the country have killed the auto industry in Michigan and has given them a license to say, we're going to leave the state of Michigan. We're going to go to Kentucky. We're going to go to Tennessee. We're going to go to Indiana. And the auto workers in our state have realized they're losing jobs. There, there are layoffs every single Single week. I mean, it's like every day they're wondering whether or not they're safe. You see that there was a gentleman who went out and he talked about this on CNN and said, look, I need to be able to feed my family. I'm going against my mother. I'm going against mm. my sisters because Donald Trump is the one who's going to give me hope. That's what they're looking for. They signed the death warrant on the auto industry in the state of Michigan, and the auto workers are going to vote with the guy who's going to bring them back. Tony, 15 seconds. Do you buy the polling or do you think Trump is probably polling higher with black voters and Hispanic voters? Uh, that's the question about under polling. And I think there is some I don't actually think from this uh, this cycle there is too much. I think this is accurate. Trump is doing better in those categories. And I don't think Kamala Harris can make a dent. All right. Tony Katz, Tudor Dixon. Great to have you both on. Good to see you both. We'll have you back before Election Day. Thank you.